I'm Rachel Granberg. I'm a graduate research assistant at Texas Tech University, and I study the effects of prescribed fire on the Texas horn lizard survival. My study involved the radio telemetry of Texas horn lizards. Radio telemetry or radio tracking systems are fairly simple in concept. Uh, this technology is based on a military technology that was kind of implemented post-World War II and applied to wildlife. The most basic definition would be that wildlife radio telemetry is using radio waves to communicate information from an animal to an observer. So I go road cruising every day for horned lizards on an ATV or UTV. Any adult lizard over 20 grams, I'd stick a little radio transmitter on them. And what I ended up with was um, I modeled male lizards and female lizards and what factors influence their probability of survival. Less shrub density was better for horn lizards. That probably has an effect in terms of thermal regulating. Um, if your shrubs are less dense, your lizards are going to have an easier time getting their way out of the shade to go thermal regulate and then crawling back into the shade under a bush or something during the heat of the day. I also found that decreased litter has a, had a positive effect on the female horn lizards. And when you have less litter, you have a hotter, drier microclimate. So this is one of our females that just nested about a week and a half ago. Uh, we're not sure how many eggs she laid, but she did lose about 12 grams in mass. And she has buried herself underneath a yucca plant, partially in the soil, to escape the heat. And then lastly, a greater grass and forb species richness had a positive effect on survival. And this probably is an indirect effect with the Texas horn lizard. So Texas horn lizards are insectivorous and 70 to 90 percent of their diet is uh, comprised of the harvesterant. And in central Texas, they're the um, red harvesterant. It's a big fat red ant. It's a granivorous species. It depends on grass and forb seeds for success. The harvest ants are really cool. They're a large red marmosine ant that packs a really powerful sting. As part of the food web, they are the number one prey source for the Texas horn lizard. As an ecological force, they're hugely important in nutrient cycling and also in seed dispersal and may be the dominant seed disperser in arid grasslands. So we know that prescribed fire has all of these positive side effects for the Texas horn lizard. When you burn during the summer, that may increase your grass and forb species richness. We also know that prescribed fire decreases your litter on the ground. And we know that prescribed fire can kill or set back shrub species so it can reduce shrub density. So what this study means to land managers is um, they definitely, they already take care of shrub encroachment but they use chemical means or mechanical means. What we do know now is that prescribed fire has these side effects that are beneficial to female horn lizards. So even though the Texas horn lizard, uh, if it disappears from the ecosystem, we don't really know what the side effects will be, but we do know that people care about the Texas horn lizard. It's the state reptile in Texas. People love it. Um, there's a lot of cultural importance placed on the species. So it's a great poster child for the conservation of the southern mixed grass prairie. And restoring the southern mixed grass prairie doesn't just benefit the Texas horn lizard, but a host of other species that depend on this ecosystem. Mm -hmm.